Happy Sunday, Tampa Bay. We're with you for another week to talk about the Tampa Bay real estate market here on the Duncan Duo Show. And uh, we got we have a couple of new guests this week. Uh, Michael Whitehead with Atlantic Bay Mortgage and Louis Savinetti, uh, the third? I think fourth. The, fourth. the fourth. The fourth. My bad. It's Louis Savinetti, the fourth, uh, here to talk uh, today. Uh, We've we got a lot to go over today, a lot of articles, a lot of real estate news. And uh, when we aren't on here, make sure to check out our social channels by following us at The Duncan Duo on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, so, Lewis is here today because we're here to congratulate him. He's a new, he is the newest celebrity on the Duncan Duo Real Estate. <laughs> Lewis, is, uh, Lewis is now a member of the prestigious 30 Under 30 Club, which basically means that he is uh, the youngest guy in the room uh, right now. And, um, you know, so, but, but what was interesting is, Lewis, uh, how, how long ago did you start with our real estate team, Lewis? Um, four years, four years ago, uh, next month. Okay, awesome. And when Lewis joined us, it was one of the things that he was, you know, really, you know, focused on. He really wanted to accomplish that. He'd seen, I think you've probably seen the article. The, my first week on the team, the magazine got passed around, I came to my desk, and... At that time, you were 25 then, right? Yes. You were 25, which is about the same time I started real estate. So I'm a little jealous of Lewis about something. Uh, and I told him this because I remember wanting to get into the 30 under 30. Um, when I first started, uh, I started in real estate in 2005, so 12 years ago. And uh, so I was at a similar age as Lewis when I started, and, I, and that was one of the goals that I had. And uh, so I did submit one year, but I didn't, I didn't make it. You know, wah, wah. You know, so, but congratulations, pretty cool. What was Thank the, you. It was, um, it was interesting because, you know, there was, there was a process where, um, you know, you had to submit your, your information and a video, and we've sent the video, and we'll make sure to share it on our socials here shortly, you know, the video of you and, and kind of, you know, what you're, what you'd accomplished and things you enjoyed and, and, and all that, and so what was the process like going through that to, to get, you know, Realtor, you know, to get Realtor Magazine to pick you amongst millions of realtors to be one of the 30 agents, the best 30 agents under 30 years old? Yeah, it was actually uh, quite a process. There were several interviews. Um, it started with submitting um, an online uh, pretty much essay. They had 13 questions that you had to go over and answer in depth. They really wanted to know what you're all about. It's not just about sales numbers. Because uh, there's a lot of you know great agents who just focus on that, but they wanted someone who is well-rounded. And I had done a lot of research, speaking to past winners, to find out what it was all about. Uh, then I did several phone interviews with different editors from their magazine. Uh, they had some freelance people call me. Um, and then you don't have to do a video, but I looked at it as I really want to get off of a piece of paper. I want yeah. them to see who I am, what I'm about, what our team's about. So that's why I did the video. Um, I believe that showed a lot more of my oh, yeah, personality. No had some fun with it, did a little dancing in there. Um, so yeah, yeah, I, I, I didn't see the mic process. drop. I didn't see the mic drop. Yeah. Lewis was renowned. Uh, I'll tell that story here in a little bit, but uh, I did not see the mic drop. Lewis has a, a great mic drop story. But it's interesting because they... Um, you know, so Realtor Magazine does this every year, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's very competitive. They get lots of submissions. And th I think the other thing was a couple of years ago you'd asked me about, about you know, you wanted to do it or you were close to ready to do it. And I said, I would wait because you need to do these things. And it yes. was, I think it was more the charity and community stuff that you were lacking, you know, when someone would look at your resume, mm -hmm. which is something I had told you to work on, you know, for the next time that you apply. And, and I, I'm, I'm confident that that was something that, that got looked at favorably. It was uh, the first, because we do our dream boards on the team every year, and the first year I did mine, I put that on there, and I talked to you about it. I remember being like, hey, this is a major goal of mine. How do I achieve it? And you told me, like, you got a ways to go, but it's yeah. definitely reaching. Well, at that time, I don't know the sales figures were there either. I mean, you were doing well. Correct. But uh, this past year, obviously, I mean, how many how many homes did you sell for our team uh, in the past? Uh, 60. The, 60, yeah. Which yeah, is awesome. yeah, and uh, just 12, over $12 million in sales revenue. That's awesome. So... And when I looked at, so I, w I did some research on some of the other people you were up against, and uh, that, that, those were pretty, I mean, there were obviously some people that did more than that, but there were certainly people that did less, you know, so your numbers were, were really strong, even in the, in the entire list of the Yeah, people. yeah, which is nice, you know, being a part of the Duncan Duo, we're given a lot of opportunity. Awesome, and so, so the, uh, the other thing that's neat about it is the ability to promote that, you know, to, to, to tell people about it, you know, to let them know that, that, um, that, you know, that, that you won this award. And, and I think it makes a difference because one of the things that you mentioned about the video that I think kind of aligns with our real estate team is we know when we're marketing property, um, we know how important video is, you know. And same with us, when we're marketing our business, 
you know, there's, you know, I'm constantly releasing videos and we're constantly doing property videos and, you know, just like selling a property or selling you to someone else, you know, video pops off the page, you know, and, and I think that, um, you know, if, if anything I taught you a lot, you know, from us doing a lot of video, you knew that it would make a big difference, just like it makes a big difference for, for our home sellers. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, the mic drop story. We're going to go off topic here for a minute. Uh, Lewis, Lewis so, so this part, I won't put this part on the video, but it'll be on the podcast. So, we were on a cruise to, was it was it Cozumel or Mexico? Was it Cozumel or, or uh, the Bahamas? It was, it was uh, Cozumel. It was Cozumel. So, we were on a cruise to Cozumel. And we went out. To, we went out that night. Our whole our whole company was. So we, um, you know, we do contests where, um, you know, you know, to, and, and it's meant to make it make us have a fun culture and enjoy things. And and so we do contests to say if we hit certain parameters of our company, we're going to take everybody and go do something. Um, and so, the contest that year was I, I don't remember what it was, but it was something, and, and we ended up hitting it. So oh, yeah, we, we, we took everybody. And we're going to, you know, we're going to go on this on this trip. So we went out to karaoke. It was karaoke, it was, it was karaoke. Night on the cruise. There was there was no alcohol involved. We were all sober. I'm, <laughs> I'm not telling the truth. There was there was definitely a few drinks involved, and they were doing karaoke. And Lewis sang "Bye Bye Bye" by NSYNC on karaoke, and at the very end of it, dropped the mic. And when he dropped the mic, the guy got the crowd, so mad. The, the, the crowd, crowd loved lost it. it. They the crowd loved it. it. The crowd. I mean, he was. I mean, I have to tell you, he was. He was like. Um, he was getting grabbed by women all all night. Um, you know, even men. I mean, he was getting grabbed by everybody that all happens. night. You know. That <laughs> so, but it was um, the mic. He dropped the mic, and the guy. The MC. Running, the MC got so mad. He was very upset. With he was very like. very mad. Yes, he did. Yes. He, did. Yes. he did not like that. He said it was. This is not a game, Lewis. Yeah. And and he 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 was mad that Lewis was going to break the mic. So I think. I stole his thunder. Yeah, you did, because he liked being the, the center of attention of course. For, the, for the karaoke show. He didn't see me coming. Yeah, and you know, I'll tell you what, I think uh, I think there's a lot of real estate agents that sometimes feel that way with how great of a job we do selling homes. You know, they, they don't like that we have the, the, the results that we have, and we're stealing their thunder, and you know, but, but that's just the, the reality sometimes that, that happens. So.